Okay, this little mindset rant is really about control and it's about who's in control during the sales process. And let's not even call it the sales process. Let's call it the um, are we a good fit process where the architect works out if, if you're actually a good fit or not. That's probably a better way of looking at it, right? Are you a good fit? Okay, now part of that is I want you to consider what role you're going to play in in the are we a good fit process, but also right throughout the design and construction phase. What sort of role are you gonna take, right? Are you gonna, uh, when I, when I, what I mean, uh, what sort of role are you gonna take? I'm talking about, are you uh, in the sales, you know, in the, in the are we a good fit process? Are you, are you taking the role of a salesperson? Are you taking the role of a leader? Are you taking the role of a follower? The, you know, the humble servant? Are you taking the, you know, are you putting on the hat and playing the role of the humble servant? Are you putting on the hat of the coach? Right? So, hmm. I think, and this changes everything, I think if you put on the hat of the coach, not only just right through the whole process, that your job is to guide your team, of which the clients are a key part of it, but they are only a part of it. Your job is to guide that team and make sure everything goes brilliantly for the whole project. And your job is to coach them through it, including the sales process. You take a firm but loving hand and you, you say, right, here's, here's the process we're gonna go through to see if we're a good fit. I don't know if I'm right for you. You don't know if I'm right for, if I'm right for you. I don't know if you're right for me. Uh, but let's go through a few steps. We're gonna go through a few things and find out. Right? Now, it's kind of reverse selling, right? You're not really selling. You're saying, hey, I may not accept you as a client, and that's okay, because I only want to accept you as a client if we're a good fit. I'm going back to this fit thing again here, right? But as the coach, you can do that, okay? So your job is to coach people through the process, coach people so they get to a point where they have the right architect, and they end up getting the right design from the right person. But by being taking the role as the coach, it's a completely different role to taking the role as the humble servant, which is what a lot of architects do. They take the role of the humble servant, and that is a shit role to take. You know, we talked about sausage rolls before. How do you like, how do you like a shit roll? Not good. Now I'm saying that to try and shock you a little bit because it's not something I want you to, to experience, right? So the role of the coach or the role of the leader in the process is a much better way to go, and you can do it. So have a think about that. Have a think about playing the role of the coach. Now that means, by the way, that means that the coach has to have a method methodology that he or she is laying out in front, and they're coaching people through each of the steps. Okay, and, and not, only, not only once you get through the sales process, but we're coaching you through the design process, we'll coach you through the construction process, because make no mistake, the clients have a role to play, right? They have a role to play in this. But you know what? If we look at them as players, they're pretty inexperienced players, and they're often not very good players, right? And whose job is it to make sure the team operates well? Sorry, it's yours, the coach, okay? So by taking that role, you, you kind of establish a certain positioning. Uh, as I see it, the client's role is to state where we're going and what we want. And it's the, once, once, once that's been stated, once it's been defined and the scope's been mapped out, it's the architect's role to take control. Here's the, here's the client, here's the architect, a little bit above. And it's the architect's role to work out how they're gonna get there. It's not for the client to tell the architect how to get there, right? The architect states where we're going. Once it's stated where we're going, the architect gets us there. It's almost like the client's the person in the back seat of the taxi saying where I wanna go. It's the taxi driver's job to get you there safely, okay? So think of it like that, and I think you'll feel a lot stronger. And feeling strong when you're selling is really important.